Welcome to the first lesson of my Python Turtle Graphics tutorial series. In this video, we will examine the concept of movement. Let's begin. Today you will learn how to start a new program in Python, how to import the turtle module, how to move your turtle around the screen using text commands, and you will apply your knowledge by completing a series of challenges. Let's start by looking at how we open Python. Providing Python is installed on your system, you need to go to your Start menu, find your Python folder, and then, from there, select the option Idle. The window that appears is called the Shell window. It can be used to test some basic commands, but in this tutorial series we will mainly use it if we get errors to see what they were. We need to open the programming window. To do this, select File and New File. A new blank window will open. This is where you will write all your programs. You will create a new one of these for each program you make. Let's have a look at the basic commands you will use to complete the challenges at the end of this video. First, we need to import the turtle module, which we will do by typing import turtle. The turtle module is just another Python program with a wide range of programmed commands. If we do not import it, our program will not recognize the commands we type, so remember to add this at the beginning of every program you make. Our first official command is turtle.forward, with a number in brackets at the end. This command tells the turtle to move forward a certain number of pixels, a pixel being a small square on your screen which makes up the larger image. To test this command, we need to run our program. To do this, go to the Run menu, and select Run Module, or press F5 on your keyboard. You will now be prompted to save your file. You cannot run your program without doing this, so save the file in a suitable area on your computer, preferably with a sensible, meaningful file name. When you have completed this, your program will run, showing you the results of what you programmed. As you can see, our turtle has drawn a straight line of 100 pixels. Now let's examine some more commands. Our next command is the turtle.write command. The number at the end of this command denotes the angle which your turtle will turn. So in this instance it will turn to the right 90 degrees. I will add another turtle.forward command, this time moving the turtle 200 pixels. Let's run the program and see what it does now. As you can see, we get an upside down L shape. Let's look at some more commands. Our next command turns the turtle to the left by an angle of 20 degrees. Let's also add a command to make our turtle travel backwards by 200 pixels. Let's run this and see what it does. As you can see, our turtle turned to the left 20 degrees and moved backwards for 200 pixels. Now let's look at the next command. Our next command is called the go to command. And what this does is it goes to the coordinates on the screen that we set. In this example we go to the x and y coordinates 0 and 0, which will bring us back to the centre of the screen. Let's look at this a little bit more closely. If we type in the same command again, this time using go to the positions minus 200 and minus 200, and run the program again, you should see that we will go to the left of the screen and to the bottom of the screen from our central position. If we repeat this, this time going to positions 200 and 200, we should go to the right, and we should go towards the top of the screen, as you can see here. Our final command for this video is the turtle.home command. What this does is it returns our turtle back to its starting position, which will be at coordinates 0 and 0 on the screen, and pointing to the right. That is all the commands for this lesson, so here is a cheat sheet which explains what each command actually does, 
and allows you to pause the video at this point in time so you can actually check them out at any point. Now let's move on to our challenges. For today's challenges, you need to create the shapes you see on screen. Create a new program for each shape and try your best using only the commands that you've been given today to complete the challenge. Further on, there are solutions to these challenges, so pause the video now and then attempt to complete each challenge before checking out the solution. The solution for the square was fairly simple. All we needed to do was move forward and right four times, making sure that the length of the line was the same and that the angle was the same each time. Solution two was very similar, except we turn right 45 degrees before we draw our square. Solution three was a little bit more challenging because we had to work out the outer angle of the actual um, three points of the triangle. To do this, I used a calculation. 360 degrees divided by 3. Try that in your next solution. Solution 4 required one minor change from solution 3, changing the direction of turn from right to left. Finally, for solution 5, we used the solutions for solution 3 and solution 4 and combined them, and that created the inverse triangles. I hope you enjoyed this video, please join me again in the next one.